Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Today we are here in my living room and we're going to decorate this credenza um, over here in this corner. So if you've been here before and if you're new, I have two credenzas. One on each side of my fireplace. One I primarily use for entertaining. So one I use it for a bar, if I'm having um, people over, you have seen me set up a buffet over here for a variety of events. And so I did that because my breakfast bar is a high bar. It's not like a flat surface that I can use as an island. So I utilize one of my credenzas as that space. This credenza here, I more likely use it for decorating. And so that is what we're going to do. And we're going to put a couple of little elements in this space um, that represents the vibrancy as well as the, the the freshness and new season of spring, okay? So when you come into my home, you see a lot of florals everywhere in different spaces. And I'm not sure if I wanna do that here. So we're gonna explore that. One other thing I wanna do is I want to bring in fresh new scents into this space so before we get to talking about how we're going to decorate and style this space so that it is cohesive with the spaces and um, around us in this lower level i want to talk about what i received recently from our friends over at dossier so this portion of the video is being sponsored by our friends over at Dossier. I want to thank them for partnering with me once again. And um, this season, I am in the season of discovery. I want my home to have a signature scent um, throughout the years. And so when you know, when you come into my home, you know that you have arrived here at Wani's house. And so Dossier has um, created these new home fragrances. Some of them are diffusers, they have candles, and then you guys know that Dossier also has amazing inspired fragrances that are inspired from some of your top fragrance houses, but they bring them to you with the same um, beautiful aromas and a beautiful scents but at a fraction of the price. Now with Dossier with their fragrances, you can definitely try it if you don't like it. You can return it, get your money back or choose another um, scent and there's no questions asked. The same applies to their home fragrance collections. So I'm eager to share with you what I've selected um, for this month's fragrances and we'll see if they have anything special for us and what we think about this month's fragrances, home fragrances, from our friends over at Dossier. I want to say is that I love how Dossier packaged their um, products and so here in the box you see we have one fragrance and then I have here two candles and when I open up the box guys the scent the throat is amazing so first let's talk about our scent that I've chosen and I actually um, forgot what I chose because it's been a couple of weeks. And so this is the Speakeasy Collection. This collection is inspired by the sense of mouth-watering cocktails and has been crafted to encapsulate and emulate the various sparkling, warm, bitter, or even smoky sensations that come with every sip or in this case a spritz so this is one of their um 
Original Fragrances. And this one is called Bubbly Spritz and Bitters. Okay. As you, like I stated, this is from the Speakeasy Collection. And it says about the perfume. This sensational, the, the sensation that inspires us, the perfect harmony struck between bitter and sweet in the spritz cocktail with an orange combining effort, effortlessly with aromatic notes and enriched with a hint of vanilla and benzene to underline gourmand um, facets. Y'all know I love gourmands. Gourmands are um, scents that smell like food. Okay, one spritz will delight. I mean, one spritz will delight your senses with all the vibrant sensations of laying beachside on the Italian Riviera. Love that. I love that because you know I, I love the beaches. So anything that's really like um, that smells like aromatic and you know like you want to lick it off. I'm going to love it. Okay, so the notes in here is orange and bitter orange, mandarin, um, artiites, and neroli. The middle notes are orange flower, laurel, jupiter berry, cedar leaf, and armesia. Ar the base notes are vanilla, benzenoin, incense, I think that's what that says, and oak moss. Okay, so... We know it has a hint of vanilla. Y'all know I like vanilla. And so it says it's um, a gourmand and citrus. So we're going to try this. I've never um, have, have smelt this one before. Like I said, this is their own signature collection. Oh, now this, let's spray it. This is very, very fresh. Not necessarily gourmand to me. It is very fresh, like you're just getting out of a shower type fresh. Perfect for the upcoming um, spring months. I do smell the citrus in this. And as it begins to die down, it smells a little soapy, citrusy to me would definitely wear this like on a cool spring day early in the morning maybe you're going to i um, going to work at a coffee shop sit outside or something like that very nice very nice scent and as it begins to die down a little bit more it does smell a little like some type of soap to me and on me now remember fragrances are are different on different people they come out they the, they smell differently on different people so to me this is how this is smelling to me and i like it i really like it so once again this is bubbly spritz and bitters so this is the fragrance that we have and um and i'm going to look and see I don't remember if this was a unisex scent or if it was male or female. And a lot of um, masculine scents women are wearing because our pH is different. So it smells differently. But I will put it down here so if you're interested, this might be one that you want to try. Okay? Now, as far as our home fragrances, which I really want to... Um, focus on right now because we are decorating our home and so I let's see I have two candles here and this is how the candles are protected and then this is the box here it says dossier now what I love about dossier candles once again it's not a lot of um like fluff on the outside it's very simple so it can kind of meld into any decor and the fact that it is very simple it really does not take away from um you know anything people come in your house yeah they, they might see a candle but they won't look at it and see that it's like um 
like a, a, a big box store candle. They're going to look at this and know that it is something special. So this the um, candle that I selected is Floral Rose, and it has the top notes of rose, um, centifolia, and cumin, middle notes of vegetarian incense and cedarwood, base notes of musk, cactus, no, cystus, and amber. And this is inspired by Le Labo Rose 31. So let's see. This smells really good. This smells, oh, it smelled like, it, I mean, when I just got the whiff of it, it instantly took me back to my college days of something that I smelled during that time. This smells very, very nice. Right here, floral rose. And this is what I, I'm talking about. The packaging is very understated. You can actually take this off and light it because there's no competition to it. You just turn it around. But if you want to know what type of candle is in here, it's right here at the bottom also, okay? So you can actually take this off and just burn it and you just see the beautiful um, wicker, I mean, flicker of the flame on this two wick candle. And it is very, very pretty. And even right here, it tells you what the notes are here. And it, but it doesn't tell you at the bottom, but it tells you that it is what it is inspired by. My goodness, that is that was so weird because as soon as I smelt it, I was like, oh my, that smells like something. And I instantly was um, transform, transformed back to something that I smelt during college. And so now I'm really interested to see how this is going to perform in my home. Is this a candle that I can put here in the living room area or up in the foyer because you know this part is the open floor plan and that the throw will just permeate throughout downstairs or will the throw carry on up until the second floor we're going to have to see or is this just type of um candle that i need to just place it in one area will it be better in an enclosed area like your powder room in your bathroom or is it a, a better option for a bedroom so we're going to find all of that out and i will definitely keep you guys updated on what i think now remember i'm looking for a scent for the house so um the the more prominent the scent is and if i can burn it downstairs and it carries on to the second floors i am going to love it okay so this is the first um, scent. And then the second candle that I'm sharing with you guys here. Once again, love at first match. I love that. And so this one is Ambry Vanilla, and it's inspired by Wide Cell Black Opium. And the top notes of this is Mandarin, Pear, Pink Pepper, and Licorice. Middle notes is Jasmine's Orange Blossom. Base notes is Cedarwood, Patchouli, Vanilla, and Coffee. Now, you guys know I love this scent by Dossier. One of my favorites that I have ordered several times. Love that. Now, let's see what we think about the candle. Yes. The patchouli definitely is um, prominent in this candle. First whip, it almost smells like... Now, this smells gourmand. It's the vanilla. That's what I'm loving about it because you know I love rose scents and I, I love vanilla as well. And this is perfect. It smells just like the, the fragrance as well as my Dossier um, inspired scent. And I know this is, this is going to be great. It is going to be great because I know I love the way this scent smells on me. And I think this is the perfect scent. It, it says like your, your one, your house is not going to 
have smell like any other, but it does say like, um, it's, it's special. This is a special place. You're going to love it here. You, you feel encapsulated with the warmth of the scent. Love this. So we're going to burn this. And once again, I'm going to let you know what I think about these. And, um, yeah, I, I think we're going to burn this one first to see what we think. All right. So I want to thank our friends over at Dossier once again for um, sponsoring this portion of the video. I will have these candles that I'm sharing with you today listed down in the description box. I also have a coupon code. I'm going to put it here. It'll also be down in the description box and it is good for anything on their website. All right, guys, you are going to love it. A lot of you have told me in the past that you have tried the dossiers. Um, since that I have um, and have um, shared with you guys and you love it and you are not going to be disappointed with these either okay so I just think it's really it's a lot of fun to you know to to have like a, a signature scent like I said when they come to my house yeah they know they're coming to Wani's house but you know you're at Wani's house because it, there, there's something about it that really captures your attention and it just makes you think of that person and I want when you think of me I wanted to be like girl I was at my girl's house because y'all always welcome so that's going to be it for this um, part of the video um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me and I will definitely respond. Now we can go ahead and get to decorating. Come on. Okay, so we're going to begin by cleaning our surface here. And I am using the Sprayway as well as some of the wrapping paper that they give you when you go to Home Goods, Marshalls, um, TJ Maxx, and they wrap your delicate um, um, items. I'm using that. You can also use like newspaper. If you get like circulars or sales paper that come to you in the mail, those are excellent to keep so that you can clean your glass. So the first thing I did was go into my arsenal and pull some things that piqued my interest. Things that said spring to me, change, like these beautiful tulips here. I love the green color. I also pulled things that had similar tones and colors, like these beautiful storage box with the gold accents and the natural colored bees. I also pulled some wood out and we're gonna see how those work together you're gonna see a lot of gold over here and I pulled some books and faces I did a lot we're really about to be creative with you guys I hope you enjoy it So one design feature that I want to play with, um, you saw when in the early spring when I used, I had this mirror here and then I had a picture um, kind of leaning on the mirror lower. So one thing that I want to do is I want to play with the design style of um, stacking mirrors okay so I'm gonna clean off this mirror here and I also need to clean this mirror and um, and then we're gonna play with that design element and we're gonna see how that can play with creating um, a, a really visual display here of some of our beautiful the core pieces.
gonna try this right here. I like how that looks, the contrast of the gold, the old and the new, the vintage and the modern. And you know, my style is a little bit, it is a little bit more on like the modern side, but I like vintage um, elements. You know, and my metal that I use in my home is gold. And this old gold here is gorgeous. And so I like this. So we're going to see if we can kind of play this up a little bit, okay? So we have that here. And we can always change things around. Okay, so I have these books here. These are um, design books. So we're going to put them here. And uh, I really would have loved if one of these books would have been green because it definitely would have um, went better with our design or cream. But this is what we have. And we also use black and this right here resembles gold. So we're going to go with it, okay? So we're going to have those books right there. And we have this decorative box here. So let's see how we can put the decorative box here. See if that works. And you see, I kind of have it kind of off centered. It's kind of um, cornered a little bit, turned to the left. So I like that. So we're gonna see if what else we can build upon with this. Okay, so we're gonna nix that because as that was coming together, I realized I didn't like it. It was not flowing to me. It did not speak to me. And it was beginning to seem like very, um, like a lot of stuff it was looking very congested. So sometimes we have to do this, okay? So don't think, don't think because we're here on YouTube and we're sharing our home with you that we get it right the first time because we don't. Okay, so what I decided to do now is I move the mirror here in the middle, okay? And I thought that that would be better because the other way seemed like the all of my decorative pieces were gonna be up be all over the place, and the highs and the lows just didn't um, match, and the symmetry was kind of off for me. So I'm like, okay, this way we have a center point. And then we work on the left of the center point. I'm sorry, the left of the center point and then the right of the center point, okay? So let's see what we can do now. So I went back upstairs, went into my arsenal and pulled some other things out. And so we're gonna see if these decorative pieces will work better against this very ornate um, mirror here. And we wanna bring in some gold tones, but I wanna kinda cool it down also. So let's see what we're gonna bring in. So I'm going to bring in this textured base here. It's gold and the white, of course. I picked this up from, look like it's from either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I know, this is probably Burlington. It's Burlington. Still have a tag on here. It's $12.99. I've had it for about two years. So I think this will be cute right here because the gold and the white. And it's that, that same pretty kind of like old gold that's in this vase and that looks beautiful against that so we have something old something new here and modern so this is like old and vintage new and modern and so let's see what else we have now i'm bringing this gold and white mercury glass um decorative vase here this was from probably Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and I got it on clearance for $10.99. Now, I'm almost sure that this top had a finial on the top of it, and the reason it was clearance style is because that part is gone, but that is perfect for what I how I want to use it. So I think I want to put this like back here because I want the, you can see the ombre effect of the mercury glass, the gold mercury glass, and then it kind of um, gently ombres down into this beautiful cream color, the same creamish kind of white background that is on the um, very modern ornate vase. And you see, I have the taller vase in the back a little 
us centered to the left. And so you can see the reflection in the mirror. I think that is really pretty. And I think we're gonna use these tulips. Now I shared these tulips with you guys. I think I, what did I get these from? I got these from, I don't remember. Uh, oh, I got these from, where it was, um, da, 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 Joann's. And it was when they had their sales, buy one, get three free. I shared that with you earlier this spring. So we're going to use those, um, these in this space right here. And I think it's perfect because tulips are popping up and have popped up everywhere. And I love tulips. They're so pretty. They're very elegant. They're simply dainty. They look beautiful um, if they, you have them stand um, alone in a simple bud glass and they look even more elegant when they're clustered together in a beautiful vase, um, preferably a vase that you can see the stems. And so I just love a beautiful tulip. Now, these tulips here are the real touch tulips. And so the actual buds, they feel real. The leaves feel real. Everything about these are just like top tier. It is very elegant, um, um, elegant and elevated. So um, we're gonna um, take the plastic off of these tulips and then we're going to place them in their, um, in my desired space. Now what I love about these stems is one that they're long but secondly it's because they are very very um pliable so we're just going to stick these into the top of this beautiful um vase and you know i'm keeping the leaves on them and i just love 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 how these roses just fall and then you can just manipulate them however you see fit. So, okay, there we go. And I like those too because you can see like some of them look like they're beginning to open up. It's very natural. So, um, well now what I want to do is um, let's start working on this side over here. Because we, although our credenza over here, the bar credenza, it has a lot going on. I want this to be a little bit um, less fussy um, and just really elegant because I really want it to meld in with the environment or surrounding it. So we're going to place this box here and then y'all know I am like something seriously fascinated with candles and I love them. I think that every room should have some candles and candles are very elegant and so I'm going to use these cream colored taper candles and I love the the light from these now these are unscented so of course you know if we had something going on you know we would um, have these lit depending on the type of event or occasion it, it is so we'll have these here isn't that pretty that is so pretty now this space really it doesn't need much else but i just need something to fill in this, this space over to the left and that's where we're gonna bring our books now i actually would probably want one more book and probably like some bookends but for right now this is going to work and i probably let me see if i can kind of open it up a little bit so they can kind of stand on their own they're not so I am going to get me some bookends but for right now I think that will be okay so let's step back and see I love it and we just need one 
more little piece of something. And I, I love these wooden, um, it's like a wooden garland. We're gonna put that over it. Maybe we should turn it to the side. Oh yeah, I think that's, that's really pretty. So I have those. And I have these. And I think the shiny wood is better. Yeah, that's really pretty. I love it. I, I really like that. Okay. And so I think this will be probably now I think we're going to go ahead and use one of our candles here from Dossier. And this is the, oh yes, there is that scent again. Oh my gosh, this is the Ambry Vanilla. And let's see, why don't we just put it here and we're gonna turn this around like that. We need some accessories. So kind of put this right here and let's put our accessories like right here like right there let's go ahead and light these oh my gosh y'all that scent instantly this is good. And just for a little bit of ambiance, I'm going to go ahead and light these taper candles. Just absolutely gorgeous guys so I put on my list that I want to find me some really nice bookends um, and then I love the modern mixed with the vintage then we have exactly we have like old and new we have the beautiful um, collaboration of the old golds and the creams these beautiful colors of the ming boxes definitely looks very nice with the um ivory colored um shine wood here love the gold as well as the cream did you catch that with the candle holders as well as the cream candles and then the culmination of the books here and then the candles on that end definitely balances out the, um, the corners and then this is right in the middle and guys that candle smells amazing it smells amazing and that's just with it burning for about like two or three minutes i'm gonna let you guys know here how the throw is on this because we're gonna let this burn. And you know, and once we have a full pool, we can, we'll definitely get the true essence of how this candle performs and if the throw actually permeates throughout the home. So that's it guys. I really love this space. What do you guys think about the way we style this? I can't say it enough, I really, like it i love everything about it and all the times you don't get it right the first time sometimes you have to start from scratch bring in some more of your pieces that's the elegance of um being able to shop from your home you i did not run out and pick up is the moonlight that makes me wonder why we separated or am i faded you shine so bright it's an understatement Overrated if you get too close, my baby. Might not.
so that is gonna be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoy spending time with me today if you did please give this video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hi I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house if you like what you've seen go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads you can also come and check me out over on my Instagram you can find me over there at Wani's house I'm also on TikTok and Facebook as Wani's house come on over hit the subscribe button and the like button and then you will definitely be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house all right guys so i'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house and i'll see you in the next video bye-bye <laughs>